Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome to a brand new Let's Play on my channel. I am so excited right now. I can't even like contain my excitement. I'm like a bundle of happiness right now. So as you can probably see from right here, I have my hands on Get Together. This actually isn't out in America until tomorrow and also in Europe it will be available on the 10th but I have been very lucky and EA have actually sent this over to me and I'm so excited to get my hands on it. I have not played it yet, uh, it has been sat waiting for me to record it because I wanted all of my first impressions right here with you guys so I've not seen anything of Get Together. I've only seen what you guys have seen up to now and I am so so pumped just to get into this and start playing this expansion pack. So we can create and join clubs. Create and join unique clubs where you set activities, select the members, choose their style and customize their hangouts. Playing with your clubs also unlocks club perks for you to enjoy. Get Together! Meet up with other sims for exciting group activities including bonfires, foosball, <gasps> the foosball tables are back, darts, don't wake the llama, what the heck is that, and more. There's always a great reason for your sims to get together. New dancing and DJ skills, I am so excited for these, these are like the two that I'm most excited for. Pump up the crowd by creating the perfect mix on the DJ booth. Then jump on the dance floor, challenge other sims to a dance battle and show off your dance moves. OMG, I'm so ready to get into this. And discover Windenburg. Explore this beautiful new world with its scenic neighbourhoods and love lively, not lovely, <laughs> lively hotspots including local pubs, cafes and discotheques as well as the mysterious ancient ruins, picturesque, picturesque bluffs and the sprawling Von Haunt estate. Ooh. So what I am going to do is I'm going to create some sims. I already have a couple of people in mind that I want to go for. So I'm going to create those and I will be back with you guys in Create a Sim in a second. Okay guys, so I am now back and I have probably just like used two hours of my life creating these sims. So like I said, this is my first time seeing this. So I just saw most of the creator sim items. I haven't looked at any of the kids or anything like that. But before I move on to the items that we got in this pack, I am going to introduce you to the sims that are going to be making an appearance in this let's play. So I decided to go for a little bit of a challenge. I feel like I'm gonna have a challenge on my hand with these three sims. Yeah. So the first up is Sasha Aragon. She is so cute. She's a DJ, well, an aspiring DJ. She basically wants to be a DJ. That's the group that she's gonna try and join. Like I said, I've never played this, so I don't even know how to like start groups and things like that, but I'm sure we'll figure it out together. So she has the new aspiration that came with Get Together. This is a leader of the pack and basically what this means, it's under popularity and it says this sim wants to be the leader of the best club in town. So she wants to be sociable, she wants to lead the group, she wants to be the best DJ ever and she's just gonna throw herself into it. But the problem is she's a loner so she gets the happy moodlet when she's alone and she doesn't really like strangers so I feel like we're definitely gonna have to get to know the group because if she gets embarrassed or anything like that and if she doesn't like them if they're all strangers to her she's gonna have negative moodlets she's not gonna be having fun and she basically won't want to be in the group anymore so that's the challenge that I have set for myself throughout this let's play let's make this loner happy <laughs> um, which is definitely going to be hard she's an introvert but she is also creative obviously she like makes mixes and you can do that in get together so she is creative with her music and she is obviously a music lover she has her headphones on which are new in get together the hair's new this top is new which is what the headphones are on these are custom content 
the bracelet is new but yeah this is Sasha she's gonna be so much fun I think I definitely created a challenge with her so I'll show you her everyday wear so uh, as you can see she's pretty dark she likes her heavy makeup she has jet black hair I did have a little bit of difficulty choosing which hairs like I know this one looks way shorter than this one but we'll just pretend that she has like yeah. extensions or something like that um this actually came with get together as well there were like trousers but i don't really like them i think they were mainly skirts actually let me have a check so yeah there was like this pair of trousers but i really didn't like those so i went for some custom content jeans and the majority of them are skirts like you have like a sarong and like yeah preppy skirts really for the girls this one's not preppy this is kind of um a little bit out there with this zip on the side that's pretty alternative i guess you could say i do like that i actually didn't notice that that is what this video is going to be guys it's going to be me noticing and fangirling over new things again the top is from get together and so is her hair let's check out this one this is a whole outfit in get together so um I really like this. I really like the detailing on like the zips and how it tucks in. I really like this. I am a massive fan of this outfit. You did well, EA, on this one. I'm giving you props for details on that. And then we have, this is just a custom content outfit, basically. I just wanted her to have an extra everyday wear. Again, custom content this is um from one of the stuff packs i think party stuff and i just figured she can pull off a suit so i'm gonna put her in that for a formal wear athletic pretty bog standard so yeah the only ones that really came with get together were like the party wear which she actually doesn't have on at the minute and also lots of preppy clothes i feel like they're more for preps and like the popular ones and also renaissance sims um like the renegades they basically wear old people or like yeah old people clothing i guess mm. but then this is the next sim this is my prep so this is carly crane she is adorable i love carly she is so cute basically i kind of had a freak out before recording this i was just like oh, there's so many options like what do i want my sims to be what groups do i want them to be in and all of this like i feel like there's so many options and different ways that you could go about the groups that i'm gonna try and explore most of them in this let's play like i think each sim can join up to three groups Groups, which is great so I think we're gonna try and join as many groups as we can but like I said I wanted a challenge <laughs> and Carly isn't everything that you see on the outside so maybe from looking at her you're thinking popular girl straight away which definitely she gives off that vibe but kind of like a more classic looking one um but she is so cute. I love her. This dress is from Get Together. And then this dress is from Get Together. This is very clueless. I saw this and I was like, clueless. And she has high heels to match every outfit, which I love. She basically reminds me of Chanel from Scream Queens. <laughs> she really reminds me of Chanel, which I love because I love that program so much. And then this is from Get Together. This is another outfit. This is adorable like look at that lace work this outfit right here genuinely looks like custom content like i can see custom content creators having uh -huh. a ball with this outfit i think it is so cute like look at the detailing on that like the arms and the lace is just unreal like this genuinely looks like custom content i am so impressed with this outfit when i saw it i was like that's my favorite thing in the whole of creatism yeah. that's my favorite thing <laughs> and then i went all out on the chanel look on this one <laughs> massive oversized sunnies um this shirt that tucks into the skirt this is all from get together so like i said there's definitely there seems to be more preppy clothes than there does um non-preppy clothes so if we just go on get together actually i'll show you what came with it so these are like the majority of the full body outfits this is very is it 60s i want to say 60s like 50 or 60s i really like this but 
I don't think she could pull it off. She looks so hilarious in those sunnies. Again, very 60s. Like, it tends to be skirts that drop around to here are very 50s and 60s. Um, obviously, her blazer, which you guys have seen. This dress, which is adorable. I love it. Very clueless. I'm getting a feel. Uh -huh. um, and then, obviously, this outfit, which Sasha is wearing. This one, which I love. I... Oh, this is my favorite of all of them then there's this dress which is kind of cool oh i didn't notice the scoop back that's really nice actually i'm a fan of that mm. this which is like a little asymmetric dress with a zip up the back i really feel like ea are putting in so much work into their clothes recently and then you have this which i'm guessing is like for one of the ghosts that like haunts the mansion but i guess if you have gothic sims or maybe very classic sims they can get away with wearing this. You have a barista outfit. Barista? Barista? I don't know how you say that. Um, it basically looks like a Starbucks ah. thing, doesn't it? So I think this is for like if you work in a coffee shop. Um, I don't know if you can get a job in there. Uh, hopefully you can. That would be quite fun. And then we have the night outfit. So you can make a bunch of nights and have a nightclub if you would like. <laughs> Which I can't see myself doing, but who knows? Maybe we're going to meet someone random in this Let's Play and maybe like she'll get a boyfriend that'll like try and teach her chess and like get her into a really like nerdy club mm. that could be kind of fun actually but yeah as i said there is a little bit more to carly than meets the eye so she wants to be a party animal which fair enough she looks like she wants to be a party animal this sim wants to throw and attend amazing parties which is definitely going to come in handy and get together this didn't come with it this was the only aspiration to come with this expansion leader of the pack but i have given her Yama? the new trait <laughs> she just did the gun thing i love it so insider came with get together it's the new trait these sims love being in clubs and tend to be happiest when they're surrounded by their friends how cute is that so she's gonna be really happy when she's around her um her people i forgot what the popular ones are called is it like polly i don't know i can't remember and she is also outgoing but she has a little bit of a secret she is a bookworm so basically the setup i'm going for here is she is like a secret bookworm she loves spending cozy nights in which is why in her formal wear she has this little number which i love like you would just not expect this from her but she's just wearing something really cozy obviously her other formal wear is like more her i guess you could say but then this is the real her she's like hannah montana she lives a double life so that is like her cozy side and obviously all everything else is kind of just like what you see in most of my let's plays this is from get together as well so yeah that's carly and i absolutely love her i think she is so so cute i guess i'll show you some of the other clothes that came for the girls in this like little overview that i feel like i'm doing right now so um yeah you've pretty much seen most of them there's like this mesh top which i really like um i actually haven't put it on any of my sims but i'm sure i'll be changing them up frequently throughout this let's play this top which is so bright like it literally looks like her boobs are lighting up right now <laughs> Like, I don't know what this material is, but that thing is a luminous. And then this crop top, which is pretty cute. This is like the bog standard box crop that we get in The Sims. And then obviously the headphones one. I kind of wish headphones were an accessory by themselves. Like, so your Sim could pretty much pull them off as a necklace. But unfortunately, they aren't. Like, they have to be wearing this t-shirt. And this t-shirt doesn't have the best options this is the one that Sasha's wearing like it's cute but I feel like I would have preferred it if you could just have the headphones say like over this outfit like that would be really cute she pulls that off she pulls off the leather jacket you know what I think I'm gonna give her a leather jacket as well yes you are working that and then let's change that back to what she had what did she have I forgot what she had on Oh no, it was this one, wasn't it? <laughs> I was like, oh no, 
but yeah, it was that. So there we go, that's her party wear and swimwear is pretty bog standard. So that is Carly Crane for you guys. Ooh, I need to show you the hairs too. Sorry if I'm all over the place, I'm just very excited to have this and it's my first time seeing everything so I'm like, there's so much stuff! So we have this which I love, I actually really like this hair, she kind of looks like Taylor Swift in it. But yeah, I really, really like this hair. Oh my goodness, this is so nice. It's a little bit longer than the bobs that we usually get and the bangs look really good. I actually tweeted before saying that The Sims 4 foreheads look really big, like even hers looks really big. Um, so I think with bangs it definitely makes it look smaller and more natural. Then there's this hair which I really like. She can pull off the cropped hair as well. I love this. Maybe she'll like get a haircut eventually and go crazy with her colours. Then the plait that Sasha is wearing. Again, the detail is so good. I love it. I love these streaks hanging down here. Then we have this, which I don't know, it seems very bookwormish, but I do like it. Again, I'm a massive fan of most of the items that came in this expansion pack. I feel like this expansion pack is solid. There's this one which is so cute, it's like a really tight bun which is adorable. I might give her that for her formal wear. Then obviously her hair that she wears on most of her outfits. Ah. Then we also have dreads which are very, very cool. I like these. They're cool. She unfortunately can't pull them off, but they are cool. And then this crazy hairstyle, which again, I love. Unfortunately, like the ends are already programmed into whatever color hair you have. Like, I don't feel like these two colors go so well, but you unfortunately can't change them. This one's cool. And then you have, yeah, there's loads of different options. Again, I don't feel like those two colors really go, which is kind of annoying. That's pretty cool. I like this one. I think this blonde is my favourite of this hairstyle particularly. And also this one, because that's just hella cool. And this is so cool. <laughs> I'm so freaking out. Oh my goodness. The greys actually look really cool. But yeah, I'm getting a very Katy Perry vibe from this hairstyle. But we're going to stick with her straight long hair because I think she pulls that off. So yeah, that's pretty much what came for the girls. There are like accessories and things like that. But I don't want to bore all of you guys in the first part. I might do an overview like separately showing off all the new items and things like that. But for now... I just wanted to get my let's play out because I know so many of you have been excited for it. And then lastly, we have Johnny Jewett. So you guys might recognize Johnny. He's been in a couple of my videos, like kind of like overviews of smaller packs. I think he was in my spa okay. one, but I have turned him into a ginger. So Johnny was blonde. He was a surfer boy. But I decided to give him a little bit of a makeover for Get Together, so he's now got ginger hair, which he really, really pulls off. So Johnny wants to be a bodybuilder, he is athletic, he is a bro, and I also gave him the new trait of Dance Machine. These sims can't wait to get down, boogie and party all night. When at venues like bars, nightclubs and lounges, these sims can get a burst of energy with the party time interaction. Dance machines also receive a happy moodlet when arriving at social venues. So he's basically gonna be our gym rat and our dance machine. He loves to party. He's a little bit of a frat boy I guess you could say. I'm gonna start with the male's hairs actually. So we have this one which is very swishy which I really like. I was gonna give him this one but then I saw this and kind of fell in love with it. Then we have this which oh I didn't know it had a little pony on the back. Check that. I do like that as well. I can see like a lot of surfer and um, GJ is pulling this off. I'm sure you guys will see a range of sims that are going up within the next few days on YouTube and on the gallery and things like that. I'm sure so many people will have so many different sims that they want to create. So I really feel like you're going to see a good mix of everything. This kind of looks like a hair we already have in a pack. Um, I can't remember what pack, but... 
it looks a lot like something we already have and it's a bit flat I don't know why it makes his head look like a square and then we have this one which I really like I am a fan of this hair it looks like something from American Horror Story <laughs> why am I mentioning so many Ryan Murphy TV series maybe they took inspiration from Ryan but yeah I gave him this hair which I'm obsessed with I love it so much and then he has on a new jumper right here that has like an anchor on it for him I kind of went back for a very laid back but also kind of frat boy look about him so there's like this barber jacket there's a new leather jacket which I'm always a fan of leather jackets in the sims you can never have too many leather jackets and then this is where the frat preppy look comes in a bit but again the detailing on these clothes like the elbows are so good then you have kind of your like more hipster vibes for like your book clubs and things like that again just a bog standard t-shirt which i actually really like um this kind of looks like something we already have but again it's nice and you can never have too many cardigans in your game this jumper right here very frat boy-esque kind of looks like custom content it looks like a custom content piece that i already have in my game so ea i am a fan of these clothes very much so i love this i love this jumper and then you have like just a sports jacket type thing again our headphones for the boys you do have to wear it with this t-shirt but i feel like the boys have better options of t-shirts than the girls like this is very cool i really like this i might put him in this actually um and then there's this which is strange to me i don't know i've never seen anyone pull this off in real life so maybe your sim can pull off that look if they can then props to that sim and then like this kind of mesh t-shirt again i really feel like the team are loving mesh at the moment uh i don't think i'm gonna give him that anchor one actually i think i'm gonna give him this instead i really like that on him so yeah he's gonna go for that even though he's not a dj what bottoms did we get we got these turned up jeans we got these justin bieber baggy pants which he actually wears as sleepwear and then these i don't know what are these for the girls have a pair as well which i actually didn't show you which i kind of want to now because i saw them and kind of got confused so if we go on to bottoms look what are they what are they for it doesn't look okay <laughs> like it looks very very suspicious the boys look better than the girls but i don't know really what they're for i don't know i don't think my sims could pull those off so i'm not gonna go there and i actually haven't checked out the full bodies so let's do that together very nice suit Ooh. oh okay why did that make you look so big i don't know but this is like a renegade outfit again a barista outfit and also the night outfit <laughs> i can imagine so many people spawning like an army of knights in their games after this again this is one of his other outfits so most of his tops are from get together i do like the boys fashion that they've gone for in this and yeah like i said those baggy pants are in fact his sleepwear so those were in fact the sims that i will be using throughout this let's play but i kind of just want to check out the kids stuff so let's check what we've got for little girls we have this new hairstyle which is a little ponytail which is cute i like that <gasps> this is cool omg i love it oh my goodness this is so cute oh i genuinely love that oh my goodness and i love how it's not just a boy's option it's a girl's option too and then you have like this bob which is kind of shaggy and wavy this is also very cute i'm so glad that we got more kid stuff in this um expansion and then there's plat which is so cute oh my goodness i feel like there's a lot of hair right here but this is adorable oh my goodness i love it so much that is very very cute 
I need to filter all of this. So no new hats, which is fair enough. Let's check out our accessories. Nope, no new accessories for the little girls. Let's check out our clothing options then. We got this, which kind of looks like a sports top, like a, a little sports t-shirt. Yeah, it kind of looks like a little soccer football t-shirt. Yeah, you like that? She sounds like she likes that. <gasps> Oh my goodness, and a new sweater set. I love these. I love the one that has like the cat with the glasses on. I love that for The Sims 4 kids. And this one's so cute. I really like this. And it has little elbow pads. Oh my goodness, this is my favorite. I love it. <gasps> Giraffe onesies. What? Our kids can have ones. Oh my goodness. Ah. Uh, you kidding me? This is so cute. I am about to lose it. Oh, this looks like the coziest thing ever. Why isn't this available for adult sims? But this is adorable. The little dinosaur one. Oh my goodness, I love it. Then we have this little dress by the looks of it. It looks like a dress or an oversized t-shirt, I guess. I guess you could wear leggings under that because it is a little bit short. Um, but yeah, this is very cute. This looks like something I would have wore as a kid. Um, oh my goodness! Why does this remind me of like a little European child? I guess Windenburg, is that what the name is of the new town? It is kind of very European style. Like I know a lot of people have said like it looks like Amsterdam and places like that. So <gasps> this is the cutest. You are gonna see this on every single little girl sim that I have from now on. And also this as well. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy with this new kids clothing. And then this, oh, are you kidding me? These are so adorable. Oh, this color combo, oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. So happy that we have those new kids clothings. Oh my goodness, no new bottoms for the little girls. Oops, I've still got blood. Why? I keep deleting that and I swear it keeps coming back into my game. These little stockings, which is so cute. And then shoes, let's see. Um, we have new boots, uh, some more new boots, which look massive. <laughs> they look so big on your kid. And then some like new sneaker converse type things which are very adorable that's a really good thing i'm so glad that there are so many clothes for little girls let's check out the little boys really quickly i feel like this first part is pretty much just gonna be create a sim overview but that's all right i will be uploading another part tonight so you guys will be getting two parts of get together so again we have this one for the boys which is the same as the girls this cropped one at the back and also the really floppy hairstyle which looks so cute on him that is adorable again no new accessories oops probably shouldn't have done that um no new makeup but let's check out the outfits <gasps> omg i can't i'm gonna squeal guys this is adorable it's a little roll neck with a blazer on top oh my goodness we are gonna have someone have babies in this let's play because i need a family <laughs> Again, you get like the football one, the sweater, the new leather jacket, which is amazing. Oh, I kind of wish little girls got this as well, but that is really cool. He looks like a cool dude. It's got like a little like Hell's Angels thing on the back. Love that. And a new little tank top, which is very cute as well. Very summery for your little boys. Let's check out the full body again. I love it. I'm obsessed. <laughs> this which is so adorable. I feel like I need to come up with new adjectives, but it is. It's adorable. Oh my goodness, look. He looks like such a little smooth talker. And braces! Yes! OMG. Someone is having a kid in this Let's Play because I need to get my usage out of all of these new clothes. No new pants again and shoes. You get like the Converse ones. 
Someone is gonna end up having a baby. I apologize if these Sims don't want babies, but it's gonna happen <laughs> to someone. But I am, in fact, going to end this part here, guys, because it's just been a little overview of Creator Sim. I was kind of freaking out about how to start this Let's Play, but I feel like an overview of the Sims and the outfits and Creator Sim and things like that is definitely a good place to start. And like I said, the next part will be up very, very shortly. We will be moving them into a new house. I'm probably just going to move them into a house that's already been made and yeah I'll just do that I think so we will move them in the next part they will be moving to the brand new town which is apparently the size of the base game towns so it's pretty big and I'm very excited to see it and I hope you guys are too if you like this part please do give it a big thumbs up sorry if it was a little bit unorganized but I was basically just fangirling the whole time. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are excited for this Let's Play and to get your hands on Get Together. Again, big thank you to EA for sending this over to me. It means so much. And big thank you to you guys because yeah. without you guys, things like this aren't possible for me. So you guys got me here and I really, really, really do appreciate you all. And I hope you all know that. I love you guys and I will speak to you all in the next part when we're gonna move in. Bye guys!